quite a few people in number 10 were starting to get concerned because if this is the plan, then we clearly don't have a plan. I think it's fair to say you're quite dismissive of this plan in your statement, Mr Kane. Um, you, you refer to it, we can see about four or five lines down, as a, a swiftly prepared document um, published to provide some context to the options we had and the thinking behind our COVID response. Um, but then a few lines further down, you said many in government, including senior officials and politicians, uh, repeatedly referred to the action plan as the actual government plan to manage the pandemic. This was surprising as the document had little detail and was clearly only useful as a communications device. Now, you, of course, were uh, the Director of Communications. At the time, in early March 2020, uh, did you see it as just a piece of PR, or, or, or did you think that it was actually the plan? I mean, I mean anyone who reads the document you know, will, will see that it's, it's, not a, it's not a plan to deal with COVID. If you, you know, it, it is a very thin overview of how we may manage the virus if, you know, if it progresses. I mean, we, we, the first element of it was contain, and even by that point, I think contain was really off the table. So, you know, it, it, it just felt a strange document for people to be referring to as an actual government plan at that particular time. And I think that was an area when, you know. Um, <coughs> quite a few people in number 10 were starting to get concerned because if this is the plan, then we clearly don't have a plan. Did, did you take a part in, in, in drafting that plan or the, the, the document? I, I'm sure I would have been involved in, you know, in discussions with it. I can't quite remember the depth of my involvement. Did, did you have the concerns that you're expressing now at that time? I think I had concerns that we didn't have. I mean, the document itself was not that it wasn't the issue. The document itself is fine. The purpose for the document was a concern, and I think that's when there was you know challenges, challenge made of okay, well, what is our actual um, plan at this point? We we can see the last sentence of that paragraph there. You you say the fact that many senior figures kept referring to the document as quote the plan this document that you've described as being very thin shows that in reality the government had no plan to deal with the pandemic. Is that something that you felt at the time? Yes, it was. I mean, there was a, you know, I say we, we talk about flattening the curve and, you know, there was, a, there was a strategy, but there wasn't a plan, which I think is, you know, the detail of how you're going to do these things was, was somewhat absent.